hit an accident. It's time for more Kansas. How about Lamplight Symphony? Written by the maestro, Carrie Livgren. And uh, Janice cannot say enough good things about Carrie Livgren of Kansas.
twists and turns in this song. Interesting, uh, interesting way to conclude a song. It definitely felt like uh, sort of like the curtain coming down, and you know it's going to come up again. It has that sort of feeling to it. It didn't resolve the song. You, you kind of sense that the song is not finished. Maybe there's another part to the song, or they kind of envisioned this song within the album, and they kind of planned sort of for what be the next tune. But that definitely leaves you hanging as a cliffhanger kind of a chord. And if you notice, I closed my eyes in the last part. Uh, there was just something really, um, there was a magic factor there that just kicked in for me. And um, I've just been recently thinking about this too. As I'm, as I'm moving forward, doing lots of, I'm going to do a lot more album reactions rather than just song reactions, a lot more full albums. Uh, and that's my plan for the future. And uh, one of the factors, thinking about what are the, all the, what are the things that make a good album? And one of them is that inexplainable magic factor where it's intangible. There's just something that it's just like a heart connection. It's a soul connection. I don't know what it is, but uh, it sort of defies anything else. You know, like the same way some people became famous and people said their voices are terrible. What an awful singer. You know, there's, I'm sure there's a whole list you can think of bands, singer songwriters who uh, had so bad voices who sang flat all the time for example one very famous one who's considered one of the greatest songwriters uh, people would say ah who's going to listen who want to listen to that or the or you know someone who sings like this I was going to the corner store you know like who's gonna want to listen to that turns out millions of people so you can't really factor in uh, the intellect, you know, it's the head and the heart. So the magic is that sort of intangible, and that the la the latter part of the song really is sort of snagged me in. There is some lyric about seeing his wife and uh, the apparition of his wife, and knew they'd be together again or something. I didn't look at the lyrics before the song; I forgot to. But um, I'm going to have a look at them. So that's it, spiraling out. Talk to you all later. Bye.